Hex Nation, and welcome back to some more Bravely Default 2. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's go to Savaloon. And let's uh, do this one because I think we can get the pretty cool looking asterisk and possibly level up my card level thing because I can't get any more experience. And I know there's a lot of side quests in this area as well. So, I know once we go in, we can't leave, so let's get in. We have one more side quest to do, but we'll do that one when we go to House Salonia. Because it's up that way. We'll get it done. I'm not going to forget it. Oh, did I... Was I going to change a job class? Anyhow. Oh, hi! You came. Thank goodness. I don't think I was. I'll let Prince Pollux know you're here. He'll tell you everything. Very well. Okay. Then we shall make our way to the palace. Forgot about this music. Jobs. Nah, I didn't get nothing new. I didn't get nothing I wanted to change it to. We still got one more level in you. We got multiple levels in you. I think you're going to stick around for a while. I think Oracle's going to be really, really good. All right. Two. The... Oh, there's only two here now? Hmm. I thought there was more. Maybe I came in here at nighttime. There might be more. But I want to see what you have new. You got axe potions. Anything else? Oh, yeah, all these things. You got new weapons? Uh, any new weapons eh, that I don't have? No, I got all those, dude. Oh, I missed a good. Oh. Oh, and I was not done. I forgot about this one. I also want to go to the game hall real quick and see if I could possibly get the... Uh, but no, I'll do side quests after we do the main quest. But I want to know about the cards. Can I get the next cards? Pictomancer extra... I didn't read what that said. No, she's not here. No. Dang it! Ah, I don't know where she is. We'll figure it out eventually. I mean, that's part of the one things I want to do in this game is get all the cards. But let's go see Pretty Boy. Side quest after main quest. Yo, yo, Prince, I am here. Talk to me. You have our thanks for coming all this way, Princess Gloria. It's my pleasure, Prince Pollux. Would you mind telling us what's been going on? Of course. As I asked Anihal to inform you, the Hologradas have demanded that our kingdom join their empire. I put the matter to the Council of Elders, but alas, they were divided. Things were further complicated when two of the Elders passed away in quick succession. Their deaths were deemed to be suicides, but both men happened to be of the faction opposed to joining the Empire. Ooh, which juicy. is rather suspicious, I am sure you will agree. You think the Hologriders had them killed? I am afraid that I do. Hmm. We'll be happy to help in any way we can, of course. Thank you, Your Highness. Perhaps you could speak to some of the Council members. They might be more prepared to open up to one such as yourself. Okay. Where are they at? Party chat, party chat. 
Stop being itchy nose. Not all bad news. Hmm. Crikey. Someone's looking at the wee bit gloom. <sighs> I must confess that Savalon's current plight does concern me rather. Well, Bullox isn't exactly a seasoned leader. And what with all these elders dying in suspicious circumstances, it's a bit of a worry, eh? I, <laughs> yes. It's not all bad news, though. I hear they started to work on repairing the parts of the city that were damaged by all that water. There's still a crap ton of water out there, dude. And once it's all gone, they'll be able to finish the job. That's good to hear. I hope the repairs continue to go well. Aye. And these aren't the people, these aren't a people to wallow in despair either. Businesses in the game of Hall is booming. Really? Even at a time like this? I always say there's four essential things in life. Food, clothing, shelter, and food. And if they're having fun, it means the other three are covered. I suppose so. Good. Let's get down there and do our bit then. To the game of Hall! Not until the matter at hand is resolved, Elvis. We have duties to perform. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. <sighs> That's me told. <laughs> Alright. I thought that said chainsaw for a second. I was like, Red Mage has a specialty called chainsaw? What? All spells cast are twice with no extra MP. That doesn't sound bad. Yo, you dead? I mean, are you gonna die? Well, talk to me. Eventually. The deaths of those two elders. They were suicides, were they not? Or are you suggesting otherwise? I don't know, dude. With a name like Draco, I don't think I could trust you, Malfoy. Well, the circumstances are pretty suspicious. Suspicious, you say? You have been talking to Prince Pollux, I assume. He certainly does not seem to believe that those poor men killed themselves. Well, they were both opposed to joining the Empire, and they both happened to die. You can see why he might believe Holograd had something to do with it. Yes. And I must confess, I am inclined to agree with him. After all, Savalon is as far from Holograd as it is possible to get. An invasion would be a difficult and long-winded affair. I can understand why they would attempt to subdue the kingdom through such machinations instead. Of course, I have not a shred of evidence to support this theory, which puts me in a very awkward position. Though it is nothing compared to the situation in which Prince Pollux has found himself following the death of his brother. It is our duty as elders to support him. Speaking of which, I must attend a meeting. Perhaps we will have the chance to talk again later. Man, you definitely are a lord. You love to talk. The two elders who passed away, they both killed themselves, did they not? Why do you ask? Prince Pollux didn't seem so sure it was suicide. Hmm, well... I do not wish to speak ill of the dead, but... We all know what Benar did, do we not? Subverting the affairs of the nation for his own ends. Wait, are you saying Bernard's dead? The elders in question could well have been involved in something similar. Oh, yeah. Bernard is dead, right? He was killed. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I have heard that Holograd takes a very dim view of such activities. Perhaps these men were so afraid of what might happen to them if Savalon joined the Empire. That they took matters into their own hands. Hmm. Could be, I guess. Thanks for your help. How do you feel about joining the Empire, by the way? Are you for it or against it? Oh, I am all for it. The alternative is war. The people would suffer terribly. You're still gonna suffer terribly if you join, ma'am. In any case, I am late for a council meeting. I must be on my way. Good day to you. Don't join the Hollow Grouters. They will take this place and you would have to serve under them and they don't care about you. Get out of the way. And... What? The dead elders. I have no interest in them. Dwelling on the past will not help us adjust to our new reality. We will soon be part of the Empire. I guess you're in favor of joining, then. 
Indeed I am. As with any transaction, it is a simple matter of weighing the costs against the benefits. The fact is that our kingdom is in chaos. If we were to make a stand against the Hologradas now, it would be the end of us. Besides, <sighs> but I must be on my way. A council meeting is starting soon. Please, excuse me. What? Hmm. Oh. Very, very curious. What were you going to say? You stopped yourself. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's the mark? <laughs> I couldn't see it for a second. Will you tell me things that the other guy won't tell me? It was the curse. It was the curse that killed them. What do you mean? They conspired with Bernard to have their fellow elder, Lupus, tried for a crime he did not commit. They did? So, uh, what happened to Lupus after that? He killed himself. Stabbed himself in the chest with a dagger. Suicide. And now we have two more suicides. Bernard is dead. And now his co-conspirators are dead. Do you not see? This is Lupus's revenge from beyond the grave. It is a curse, I tell you. The thought makes my blood run cold. It chills me to my very core. Don't think we got a lot of information out of all that. Besides, your elders are a little nuts and they are willing to sign with the enemy. And become a part of them and not fight back. I mean, granted, their place is already kind of messed up, but you know it. That's not a reason to give in. I think you ought to ask all these people standing out here if they want to be part of the Empire. Don't speak on behalf of them. Speak with them. But you're a leader of a place, so you don't care about your people. Seems how it always goes. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Lady Sickness asked for my assistance with an issue that has arisen. You have my undivided attention now, however. Tell me, what did you learn from your interviews with the Elders? They all don't like you. I mean, Lupus, they all- you say. It was his place on the council that Bernard took. And some suspect that he was accused of a crime he did not commit and that the ordeal led him to take his own life. And you think there might be some truth to this? One of the people we spoke to said that the two elders who died recently were cursed, that it was their punishment for framing Lupus. I shall have to discuss the matter with Dromed. He will know more, I am sure. And fortunately, the Council has just approved my proposal to consult with him on the matter of Holograd's request that we join the Empire. <laughs> Come, we will visit him in his cell and see what he has to say. Sure. Am I in control? I'm lost. There I am. So, hmm. I mean, obviously, the Hologradders are killing the ones who say don't side with the Empire, so the other ones that are around are the ones that say side with the Empire, and they're terrified for their lives, so uh, side with the Empire. Someone's going to stand up, and that's going to be us. Also, I do want to test out when we finally get to some battles. It was suggested I try overloading Adele and see if she gets stronger with her jump. Let's go into the... By being overloaded compared to not, I'm gonna run an experiment as soon as we get to some battles. I imagine we're gonna have to crawl through a dungeon. Probably go back to Bernard's old palace there and crawl through that again. Prince 
Pollux? Is something the matter? Well, no. But did you not enter the dungeon just moments ago? What? Certainly not. I have just arrived. Oh, no! Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm? But why? I'll explain later. Right now, Dromid's in danger. What in the... Dromid! Hmm? Oh, your Highness, there are two of you. No. Oh. Who's the imposter? So, the time, time has come, come. and the earlier than expected. expected. The time to kill you all. I was not expecting just battle like that. I'll take it. A new asterisk is new. Oh, I am not healed. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, he's so cool. Prepare to meet your maker. Yeah, about that. About my maker, you know. I mean. Ether yourself. This might help. That's not enough. Ah. Ow. Oh. Come and get it. That was a lot of damage. I know nothing about you. It's not good. Not good at all. Default? Okay. Default? Best knuckle down. It's time to get serious. Default? Nothing like the long game. <laughs> You are about to witness my true power. Uh, sure, yeah, true power, yeah. Be uh, healed. Hmm. I owe you one. Okay, okay, default. I, I dream of the dream. Okay, I. I. Oh my god, I was supposed to. I. Uh, um. What do you do? No. What do you do? I wouldn't mind that if I could figure out what you know. I got a default again. Oh, I have no. Now you've made me more. mad. Prepare to meet your maker. Mm. Let me help you. <laughs> this battle is not the way I wanted now. to start. Oh, I was ready for that one. Oh, okay. I grow bored of this. Time to withdraw. <gasps> she just vanished. Okay, good. Cause I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, um, I why am I so under leveled? And uh, I, I just like, I was lost. It was, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> she was annihilating us. Okay. Crikey, what was that? A ghost? Something to do with this curse? No, that's a new asterisk that's amazing looking, and I can't wait to play around with it. No, nothing of the sort. Whoever she was, she dropped her necklace. Ooh. It seems you arrived just in time. You have my thanks. But why come after me? I guess somebody wants you out of the way. It seems you know more of the circumstances than I. Would you care to explain? Forgive us, Dromid. The kingdom finds itself in dire need of your wisdom. I see. Much has been afoot. Indeed. And I would hear your thoughts. How should we proceed, old friend? Well, from what you have told me, there would seem to be little doubt that Holograd has been engaging in clandestine activity within the kingdom. Perhaps I am an obstacle to their scheme in some way, hence their attempt to eliminate me. It must be something you know, something vital to their plans. Indeed, but what? The bulk of my knowledge concerns the history and governance of Savalon. 
If we can deduce what it is they believe I know, we might be able to make some sense of all this. Only the Council knew that I was coming here to meet with Dromed, which means an Elder is responsible. But what could they have been so keen to keep you from telling me? Let's go and talk to them all again, eh? Yeah. The culprit's bound to let something slip eventually. They talk a lot. Assassins, Negris. Pick up. Pick up slash burp. <laughs> it's actually an equipment or part of chat. I thought so. <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. Who done it? I can't stop thinking about the suicides of these elders. They just isn't there just isn't any way it was a circumstance. A coincidence, that is. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with the ones who want to join the Empire and the ones who don't, right? Which would suggest that a number of the council was behind it all. Right, which is why I did a little research on them all. So, Cygnus and Delphius are who you might call the pro-Empire faction. We already met Cygnus, seems to be a pretty serious sort of person. And Delphios, well, he sounds like the opposite. Rumor has it he likes to gamble a lot. And then there's Draco Malfoy. He's a kind of fence sitter. Basically, he'll go along with whatever Prince Pollock decides. And finally, there's Leo. He's against joining the Empire, but, but, well, it sounds like all kinds of rumors have been flying around about him since the others died, elders died. So where to begin? We're gonna go to the gold marker. That's where we're gonna go. That's where we begin. So wait, is there just gonna be a meeting, right? The meeting started, so we can just go barge in on the meeting. No, I have to talk to them all individual, individually. Words. <laughs> oh, assassin. Nick There's a marker above that guy's head. Ah, unusual fragrance. Can any hall help us with that? I, I, I hit talk and things are happening. Why do you have an exclamation point above your head? The elders did not commit suicide, you say? They were murdered by hologratters. That's right. And they tried to murder Dramed too. Luckily, we got there first. The assassin dropped this necklace. Hmm. It is a valuable clue, no doubt, but I am afraid it means nothing to me. But wait. Dogs and other animals can use the sense left on personal items to trace their owners. Can they not? Perhaps something similar might yield results. Oh yeah, I figured that already. Any hall, Beastmaster. The best class in the game. And, uh, yeah. She's gonna help us track him down. Hopefully. Hopefully she said yes. I don't want to talk to you. Why aren't you in my party? Whatever. You need to talk to any hall. Where's she at? She's usually standing beside you. Well, have you identified the traitor? But no. No. I see. Then please. I didn't realize this. Okay, yo. Huh. Come on. Is that the necklace you recovered from the floor of my cell? Would you mind if I examined it more closely? Well, I really don't want your scent all over it. My word. This is Lupus's family crest. But why must my would-be assassin in possession of such an item? I don't know, but I mean, I guess I'm not done here. Because I don't know who it is. If they're giving me an option, I need to know the correct one. So, this guy, Draco here, he... Wants us to go find the right person. Suck to you. What do you say about this? Eventually. Uh, for forgive me. I am too busy to speak with you at the moment. You did not waste hmm. my time. What is it, Gloria? Oh, nothing, I'm sure. It was just her perfume. It had the rather unique aroma of musk. Now, nah, that has to be a coincidence, right? That she's wearing the Beastmaster cloth. That has to be a coincidence. Musk? What's up? 
That's a scent. It is an extract from a certain type of deer, prized for its unique fragrance. P. Hard to come by in Savalon, I should imagine. I wouldn't think that there are very many people who wear it. Sniff the necklace, Gloria. Sniff the necklace. Forgot her name. What was her name? I should pay attention. <laughs> but I didn't. What's your name? We got Draco. You're Butterfly Man, right? Whatever your name was. What? Yeah, Del Del the Dolphin. The elders who supposedly killed themselves were assassinated by hologradders. That is quite a claim. And I have little to say in response. Please understand. Mm. I am in favor of joining the Empire. It is the best way to avoid a war. It will also create numerous trading opportunities for Savalon. It is not ideal. And to reach this conclusion was not easy. But life does not consist of easy decisions. You would do well to remember that. Yeah, but once you learn about the Hologradders, you're gonna think twice. Uh, Draco, Dolphin, you're Leo, right? Whatever his name was. So the opposite one, the one that's missing. Because I don't remember names. I'm coming to talk to you to figure out your name. You wish to know more about Lupus? Very well. He was a good man, diligent and honest to a fault. That is why Bernard and his partners in crime were able to take advantage of him as they did. It was perhaps merciful that his wife had already passed away, but it meant that his death left their only daughter orphaned. A terrible business. The full details of the family and all that came to pass are sure to appear in the kingdom's official records. Dromed will be able to tell you more, no doubt. Okay. Talk to Dromed one more time. But we're pretty much just going to say the other person there. She ran away. She smells. The necklace smells. That's it. It's all the Batman I need to do. Although, isn't this Annie Hall? Hey, Annie Hall. <laughs> I'll talk to you. We'll do this one. You sniff. You want to know who owns that necklace? Okay. We'll help you. Why hasn't the prince gotten you unique clothes instead of just wearing a white dress? I mean, come on. Can you give it here? Sure. He says it smells of deer. P, I knew deer. it. How come? I don't know. Sorry. We have cracked the case. The necklace smells like P. She smells like P. We have done it. Draco, Dolphin, Leo. Dragon, Dolphin, Lion. The other one. Because I wasn't paying attention to her name. I may have even said her name. Doesn't mean I was paying attention. Yeah, I'll talk to you one more time. Lupus's daughter, yes. I believe her name was Maya. I seem to recall that she left the kingdom after her father died. Well, thanks for all the information. Oh god, this game. It's not running smooth on the Switch. The Switch needs to be powerful. Well, have you identified the traitor? Yes. You have? Excellent. I shall call an emergency oh. meeting of the council immediately. Well, that makes it easier. Thank you all for gathering here at such short notice. As you are well aware, the council recently lost two of its members. I am sorry to inform you that there is a strong likelihood they were killed by agents of Holograd. However, with the assistance of Dromed and Princess Gloria, we have managed to unmask the traitor. Yo! If you would. 
Do I exist? Thank you, Your Highness. We'll take it from here. First of all, it is important to note that the two elders who were murdered were... Oh, okay. Well, good thing I was, I was paying attention. <laughs> Let's see how well I was paying attention. They were against joining. Of course, their assassin could only have known this if they had infiltrated the council. The killer then turned their attention to Dromid. Why? Well, he must have had knowledge of something from the kingdom's past that the killer would have preferred not to be made public. In order to attempt the assassination, the traitor disguised themselves as Prince Pollux, knowing the guards would be expecting him. However, not everybody knew that the prince was due to visit Dromid. In fact... Dun dun da! Only the council knew! Luckily, we were able to intercept the assassin. Less luckily, they were able to escape. However, they dropped something in the process. The murder weapon. No, a necklace. I won't get this It one. was a necklace. And this necklace has a very distinctive smell. The smell of perfume. Key. The same perfume worn by... Uh, this one. Crinogenus. Yeah, that one. Right? Right? Yeah! It's you, Lady Cygnus. That one. You're the traitor. <laughs> you smell like pee. It smells like pee. Pee goes together. Well, Lady Cygnus, would you care to explain yourself? Did you really do this? And if so, why? Revenge. For my father. You mean you are Maya? Lupus's daughter. Not anymore. I am Marla now. But why? Why all this? I should have healed when I had the chance. Oh, why didn't I heal when I had the chance? I told you. Revenge. I killed the people who killed my father. The Lord Commander gave me an asterisk. That of the Phantom. <gasps> and I used it well. The Phantom. But enough talk. Time to die, Prince I Pollux. I should have healed. Do you want me to push the button? There's no prompt. But I'll do it. Get back, your highness. Crap. I made a mistake. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?